Hello everybody, in this video we're going to talk about something that's really cool, it's called flattening. And this is um, a topic that comes up a lot, but it's highly useful, especially when you're sharing completed drawings um, with a full set of markups that might be going to um, a colleague or another colleague um, or another company where people use um, Apple or Mac or that people view drawings on their phones a lot. Sometimes the markups won't come up very well on a Mac PDF editor, um, say like markups like this, or they might not all show up on a mobile phone. So one of the things um, that you can do when flattening is up at the top, there's this flatten icon that I have pinned to the top. And I believe also in document, um, you at the very bottom you have flatten and unflatten. So this is little weight icon here. So if you wanna flatten the whole document, what you do is you just click this and then you wanna make sure allow markup recovery is on and then you hit flatten. And once you do that, every um, device, every markup, everything on a drawing is now unclickable and it's kind of laminated or melted to the page. And you can send this off to someone and you're pretty much guaranteed that they're gonna see all the markups. Now, um, when it's in the state, you wanna make sure not to make any changes to the drawing. Don't delete anything, don't change any text, nothing. Make no changes to the drawing if you wanna unflatten it. So then I go click here, and then you could say, yes, I wanna unflatten all these layers and unflatten, and there you go. It is gonna be back to selectable. So that's how you do that. There's another option too, if you just wanna flatten certain icons or certain markups, you can right click on them and you can flatten just that markup. So that way you can kind of get that out of the way. Maybe it's a background that you paste in a drawing that you're putting markups on, you can right click on the background and just flatten it by itself. The other um, item here that I want to make note that's actually kind of cool that if you have a specific markup that has um, some cool comments in it like this flooring markup here um, and it has the, the dimensions, you could also um, go, I'm going to go over here to flooring and let's, um, let's see which ones are the flooring icons. Okay, so it looks like those are these green and purple ones. So what I can do also is I can go up to flatten and then I could say show properties and pop up and I can go to options. Now um, in options, I want to show comments and length. So I'm going to go flatten, show properties, options, and I'm going to say I want to show comments and I want to show length as well. So I'm going to show comments and links and maybe subject. So I'm going to click OK and I'm going to say flatten. Now what's really cool about this is when I hover my mouse over it and click on it, it now shows flooring, comments, and length. I thought that's really cool. So you can bring in the markup, um, the markups list items into your flattened markups, which is kind of cool for people to kind of do a quick reference as to what this is, maybe what the length is, all the data you want to put in there. So that's really, really neat. And at the last thing that you want to do when it comes to flattening is that you, if you have a really, really, really complex drawing, it's really big, I always recommend to do a save as and flatten that copy and send it off just for this sheer fact that if anything ever happened to that drawing and it didn't unflatten, you didn't lose say hours and hours and hours of work, especially if it's a mega drawing with like four hours of work on it and you flatten it, send it off. There, there have been times where you know it maybe didn't unflatten, but sometimes I don't like to take the chance on that, but I always like to do a save as anyway to keep a master working copy uh, for myself. So that should do it on, on flattening. If you have any further questions, Feel free to reply in the comments below, like the video, and make sure you subscribe to uh, get more, get notifications when I upload more videos on Bluebeam.